Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. It's Leonard here from digitallearner.com and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build an e-commerce website step by step with no steps skipped in five simple steps. So I'm going to show you how to build a beautiful e-commerce website just like this that at the end of the day, you'll be able to edit the text to actually rhyme you know, to fit in what you want to achieve, how to edit these images. I'm going to show you how to add product and how to even edit the payment methods to suit in the currency you want to start accepting online so i'm going to walk you through how to do this step by step with no steps skipped at the end of the day you should be able to have a full functional and responsive um, e-commerce website that is accessible by any device and start making sales online so without further ado let's jump right into the five simple steps to create this beautiful e-commerce website so the five simple steps are one you need to get a domain name the domain name is going to be the name of your website.com the name of your store.com for instance the domain name of google is google.com that of facebook is facebook.com so your own domain name is going to be the name of your store whatever you have chosen um dot com and then at the end of the day you need to get a hosting hosting is where you host all of your web your website files so that it can be accessible by anyone anywhere in the world and then we are going to install wordpress With wordpress you don't need to be a, a you don't need to be a tech savvy to be able to build website you just drag and drop and what you see is actually what you get using wordpress so i'm going to show you how to install a team how to customize your store and add payment method and start accepting payment online so stay tuned as we go further so first we are going to start with the domain name now how do you know that the domain name you have in mind is available that is what i'm going to show you now so first i use name mesh name mesh.com so when you come here to name mesh.com you'll be asked to put your awesome domain name here so um i'm going to actually type in let's say the name of your domain name is going to be my shop so if that domain name is actually available um name mesh will tell you if it is available so i'm going to type in here my shop and then generate domain name so once we click on the generate domain name um unfortunately my shop.com is not available but the essence of using name mesh is to get domain name ideas you, you are going to get an idea before you now proceed to actually hosting um, your website you need to get an idea of the kind of domain name that is available but presently now um the, the these are the suggestions that name mesh is giving us uh, my shop.ng is taking my shop.com.ng is taken but my shop.net.ng is actually available and then you have other extensions here uh, they have actually categorized this uh, do, these different domain names uh, by different categories so if i go to the seo now uh, recommendation we have we my shop.com no we don't want that com um coming shop.com and all those kind of stuff we don't want this so you have thousands of domain name suggestions here that you are actually going to actually look at if my shop is not available you can go ahead and type my shop and add something else um or maybe i'll just say my number one shop so i'm going to add number here so it all depends uh, the essence of this is just to give you an idea on how to get a domain name to make sure that your domain name is ready before you proceed to actually hosting it so my number okay number one that is what i wanted to type here number one shop okay my number one shop is not available but for the purpose of this demonstration we are going to actually remove this one and use the my number shop dot com which is actually available to actually show you um this process is so my number shop dot com is actually available so we are going to copy this and then proceed to where we are going to get this domain name for free and then get a hosting for it so basically the two hosting providers that i recommend i which i personally use are bluehost and tmd hosting so these are the two different um hosting that i use and they have been reliable their customer care support has been awesome so all i just recommend is either you are going with tmd hosting or you are going with bluehost so in order to get this domain name 
um, registered with Bluehost, all you just need to do is there are links provided in the video description where you can have access to Bluehost uh, or TMD hosting. So all I just need to do is to click on get started. And that will bring us to this next page here. So basically for my business, I normally recommend the choice plan, but you can go with the basic plan. The difference between the basic plan and the choice plan or any this other plan is that with the basic plan, you only have one website hosted, but with the plus and the choice plus plan, you are going to actually have unlimited website. What this means is that anytime you want to, for instance, today we are going to host our e-commerce e website. Um, next time when we want to host like affiliate marketing website or any other kind of website we want to actually get online, we don't need to actually buy another hosting. But with this hosting plan, we can host that same website using um, this same hosting plan. The only thing we need to buy is a domain name for one year and then we use the same hosting to host that website. That is the difference between this unlimited website here and this. And then as I said earlier, you're going to actually get your domain name for free. So select any of this plan that best suits you and that will take us to the next page. This is where we're actually going to input our domain name and Bluehost will go ahead to tell us if that domain name is available or not. So go ahead and type in that domain name or just copy the domain name you check for um, from the previous um, name mesh, then paste in the domain name here and click on next. But if you have a domain name already, uh, you have the option of inputting that to input the domain name here and click on next. So because we are getting a domain name for free, um, we are going to put our domain name here and click on next. All right, so Bluehost just confirmed now that this domain name is actually available. So all we need to do now is either to sign up with a Google account, with a Gmail account, or we just scroll down here and fill in this information the way it is. So you are going to provide the your name, your first name, your last name, your business name. You are going to select your country here, wherever you are. As since I'm in Nigeria, just scroll down and look for Nigeria and select the country here. You are going to select the city, the state. And then the zip code, all of these things, you are going to provide this information and place and place. What I want you to take note of is the email address, because this is where all of your installation, your login details, everything will be sent to. So you are going to put the correct email you want every of this information sent to. So you are going to put that email address here. And then here is the account details. Now, what Bluehost actually does is it gives you the option of hosting your website um, three years ahead so with that you get it at a very cheaper rate you can host your website for the next 36 months that is three years or 12 months or 24 months depending on what you actually want to do but when you go with a 36 month plan you will get your hosting far cheaper so by the end of that the third year you should have made more than enough to actually renew this domain name so it all depends on what you want you can go with the 12 month with uh, the 24 months or they go with the 36 months that's recommended so as i said earlier earlier you are going to get your domain name registered for free so you are not actually paying for that and then a whole lot of other free stuff you are getting your protection for free and then code guard you are going to get all of these things for free so what we are going to do, if you want the site log security, you go ahead and check it. But for now, we don't need this. We can always add this. So at the end of the day, the total you are going to pay is just less than $200 for three years. So you are getting 63% of your hosting. So this is what you are going to actually uh, pay. And at the end of the day, you just input in your credit card details here to actually pay for this domain and go ahead if you need to pay with paypal just click on this c payment option and you have access to actually select paypal to use it if you want to use paypal to make your payment or pay with credit card so any of these informations that are available to you that is what you are going to do and at the end of the day uh, once you fill in this information correctly and you select the plan you want to go with you go ahead and check i have read and agreed to bluehost terms of service and then you click on submit and your website will, um, your the hosting and the domain name would have been successfully purchased. That means you've completed the first phase. In other words, if you want to do that with TMD hosting, the processes are simply much the same. So all you just need to do is go to TMD hosting, click on WordPress hosting, and then scroll down here. These are the different plans they have here. You only have a free domain name and then unlimited website hosted here. So yeah, these are the different plans you can go ahead and take a look at the different features they have here 
and just go ahead and click on any one that best suits you so i'm going to click on get started with the second one here and this takes us to the next page so here is where we are going to actually input in that domain name here so i'm going to input in the domain name we checked earlier and then click on search if the domain name is available tmd hosting will let us know that that domain name is available So congratulations, your domain name is available. Now, the next thing now is to create an account. You input your email address, put the password you want to use, and then confirm the password and fill in these details as it is. So at the end of the day, you are going to choose whether you want to pay with credit card or whether you want to pay with PayPal or bank transfer. So all of these information are made available for you. So the period is 12 months. If you want to go with um, 36 months, if you want to go with a monthly hosting you can go ahead if you want to go with 12 month or 24 month or 36 month you go ahead and select whatever uh, that, uh, that best suits you whatever plan that best suits you, you are going to select that so you are getting your domain name for free and then you can go ahead and uncheck this uh, this domain privacy just uncheck this no, just turn it off. Uh, you don't need that for now. You can always do that later. But this is very necessary. You have, I don't know the kind of business you are going into. So it's very necessary. You can always check this to actually protect your... Now, if you have a promo code, you are going to put in that. So at the end of the day, what you will notice here is that I've given you two different options to actually choose from. You now notice that for TMD hosting, the 36 month hosting is actually more higher than that of Bluehost. That of Bluehost is less than $200, but here you are going to pay up to $250.20 to actually get this hosting um, uh, for, for your website. So basically that is it. You just click agreed. And if you would like to receive any news or uh, special news from them, you click on it. Um, once you fill in the information correctly and click on complete order and that will complete your order for the purchase of a domain name and the hosting for your site so basically we've concluded with this and this so basically that is how you get a domain name and hosting and then the next thing we want to do now is to follow the instruction of the login details that was sent to our email after we purchase our domain name and then log into our account and start installing wordpress on our site so in this case i'm going to use tmd hosting to actually walk you through on how to install wordpress to your site um the processes are simply much the same whether you're using bluehost or tmd hosting so what i'm going to show you applies to the both platform your login details and the password you provided was sent to your email where you can actually go in and log into your account you can just follow the link equally the link to your uh, to your c panel was sent to your email so just open the email and follow the link to actually log in so what i'm going to do now is uh, alternatively you can just come to the website tmdhosting.com and click on login So here you are going to fill in your login details and your password, your email address and your password, and then just go ahead and log into your dashboard. So once you log into your dashboard, the name of the website that you got, the name of the domain name that you got for free will be listed here. So here it says um, control panel access. You are going to click here to log into your control panel. So I'll just click here to take us to our control panel. Alright, so once we click on that link, it takes us to our control panel. So this is where you now install WordPress. And then if you want to create a professional website, which I'm going to show you how to do in another video, like info at your website.com, support at your website.com, or your name at your website.com, or whatever professional email you want to create, that can equally be done using the C panel. If you want to forward any emails that are sent to info, support, or whatever name you want to use at your website.com to your own personal email, you want to access it at your Gmail account or your own mail account or home mail account, you can equally do all of those things. There are a whole lot of things you can do with C panel, but as time progresses, um, we, we are going to actually do tutorials on how to achieve all of those things. But for now, 
Our concern is how to install WordPress. So once you are on your cPanel, you just scroll down here um, to where you see WordPress. So we are going to install WordPress. Just click on this WordPress icon here to install WordPress. So now it takes us to this new dashboard here. So what we are going to do is to install WordPress. We just scroll down here and click on install now. So here uh, it gives us the option of installing the latest version. You have other different versions of WordPress presently. Um, but what we are going to do is to always install the latest version. So when you come here, whatever version that is up here, that is the one you are going to install. And then the domain name where we want to install WordPress. In your own case, it's just going to be your domain name. But in my own case, I have different domain name. So all I need to do now is to select the domain name where I want to install wordpress on so i'll go ahead and select the domain name and in the directory here please leave this empty what this means is that if i put anything here that means wordpress will be installed on my website slash wp so whatever design i'm going to do somebody just go to the name of my website.com they won't access it until they add slash wp that is when they are going to access it so we don't want to install wordpress on the subfolder we want to install it on the main website because we want to send people to our main website not to the uh, website slash a subfolder so just inputting your your details here and then what do you want your the title of your site to be uh it's going to be in my own case i'm going to say my shop or uh, let me just say my online shop here so add a description the new title of your website and then a description um this you can always edit this at the end of the day when you finish installing wordpress so go ahead and add up your title and then a description of your website and here we are going to input in the name um you want to actually log in with and i will advise you please don't leave this as an admin because um, admin someone can easily hack your website using admin so here I would suggest you type in your name or combinations of your name and that of your business name, whatever you want to log in with. So in my own case, I'm going to type in my name here. And for the password, I will always um, suggest you generate a password using this key here. So instead of just putting on your, your password, you just click on this key icon um, to actually generate a password. And that will automatically generate a password. If you are not satisfied with it, click it again. If you are not satisfied, you click again. If you are not satisfied until you get something that best suits you, just keep clicking and it will keep generating password for you. And at the end of the day, you copy this password and paste it somewhere safe. Equally copy the username, paste it somewhere safe. And then what do you want the email to be associated with this website? This is where you are going to put the email you want to be associated with this website. In my own case, I'm going to put support. at digitalleonard.com so this is where i this is the email i want to be associated with the name of my online store so all you just need to do once you are satisfied with the password copy your password and your username uh, to somewhere safe and you go ahead leave it as english we are going to install english install wordpress using english in our site and then here it gives us the option of installing a team we are not going to install any team here we are just going to go further and then at the end of the day where do you want the installation details to be sent your login your password and the email and the username to be sent to so i will just go ahead and equally copy this email and then copy the email and add it up here so this is where i want it to be sent to and once we fill in this information correctly the next thing we need to do is to click on install and that will go ahead it doesn't take up to five minutes that will go ahead to install wordpress on our site and we can now log in and start tweaking our site voila wordpress has been successfully installed on our site so congratulations wordpress has been installed and in order to access our wordpress this has equally been sent to the email you provided where you want the installation for the information to be sent to so um in order to access our website or our wordpress website dashboard in order to log in so we can click here let me just open this in a new tab to see how our website looks like so as you can see it comes with the default wordpress This comes with the default WordPress um, uh, 20, 2020 team. Yes, this is the 2020 team. So we are going to tweak this to actually give us the look of what we want to. So let's look at our progress so far. 
So, so far we've been able to get a domain name installed. In this case, we got it free with that, either TMD hosting or Bluehost. And then we've gotten a hosting as well. We have installed WordPress. The next thing now is to install a team and then customize, um, start customizing our store. So now to log into the dashboard of our website, we need to follow this other link here where it says the name of your website.com slash wp-admin. So that is where you are going to do. So you just click on this link to actually assess the back end of your website. So once you click on this link here, you're automatically logged in. But in case you are not logged in, the username and the password you provided, you will have to provide that in maybe in your subsequent login um, attempt. Um, here is where we are going to do all of the tweaking or install our team and then start tweaking our website to give us what we actually want to achieve with it. So in case you are not automatically logging when you click on this link, subsequently, the way to log into your dashboard is the name of your website.com slash wp-admin or slash login. So once you go in there, you provide your username and your password that you provide initially to actually log into the site. So this is how our dashboard looks like. And this is where we'll be tweaking our site to actually look like the one I showed us in the beginning of the video. So once we are at the dashboard, what we want to do is to click on appearance and click on teams. This is the team that is currently activated on our site and these other teams came with it. But what we are concerned with is either you click on the add new button here or you click on the add new button here to install a team. So any of these that you click on will take us to where we can add a new team. If you have gotten a premium team and you want to upload that team, um, you can go ahead and upload the team by clicking upload here and then choose the file from wherever you downloaded it to and you upload. But in this case, we are going to actually install a WordPress team from the WordPress team repository. So all I just need to do is to click and then search for Astra team. So just type in Astra in the search box here and then you see the team here. This is the one we are going to install. So just go ahead and click on install. Once the team has been installed, click on activate. So the team has been installed and activated. Now we are recommended to install the template. So we just need to click on get started. So once we are brought to this dashboard, just click on Elementor. And then here is where we are going to actually install the team that I showed you earlier um, for to actually achieve this. So I just need to scroll down here because we are going to install a WooCommerce team. We can actually um, search this by, if I say e-commerce, um, that brings up this team for us here. So this is the team we are going to install to edit and make it our website. So I just need to click on it. And then um, because I'm satisfied with it, you will have all of this different layout for this particular team. All I'm just going to do is to, this way will be the easiest way to actually start customizing this site to suit in whatever we want to achieve by importing the demo site. So we are going to import the Astra demo site by just clicking on import um, complete site. So if you have a previous importation, uh, if you have previously installed Astra team, it gives you the option of deleting the previous uh, imported site, but we have not, we are installing this for the first time. So we just go ahead and click on import site. So that will go ahead and install all of the plugins that are required and then install the site on our website. This way we can now start editing the site to look like what we want it to be. The process is almost completed. It's taking a bit longer to actually install all of the files that we need on our site. And as you can see, it's almost concluded. I 
and that is it so the site has been successfully imported into our own site so all we just need to do now is to click on view site to actually see how it looks like so here we have a full functional store installed on our site as i showed you earlier in the in the beginning of this video so we have our store and everything so we have successfully installed our team and imported our store so all we just need to do now is how to edit these pages or this information to actually suit in what we want to achieve with this so in order to edit anything on the site here to edit anything on the site all we just need to do on the home page here on the preview of the page here um, we just need to click on edit with elemental So once we click with edit with Elemental, here is where we can just start building our site with just a drag and drop. And to start with, if you want to change this background image here, all you just need to do is to click on this edit section here, this icon on top here, just click, click on it. Um, go ahead and click, got it. Once you click on this edit section here, make sure you are on the style um, tab here. If I click on the style tab, you will see the image here. So the image that is used as a background image here, is this one so if i want to change that i'll just click on it to select here it brings you to your media library where you can actually either up upload a new image that you have on your system wherever you have an image that you want to replace with that you just click and drag and drop here and that will be uploaded but from the media library if you have an image uploaded here already um you can go ahead if i want to use this or any other image that i have here let's scroll down here and change that image to something else so here on the media library, you see all of the different kinds of image, uh, different types of image that have been uploaded to our site. Uh, so if you want to change that image, you just go ahead and click on any of the image you see here and click on insert. And that will automatically change that image. So if I just go back again and I want to use the previous one that was there, all I just need to do is to click on it. Whatever image you want to change, you just add a background image, you go ahead and click and that will be inserted. Now in a case where you want to create this kind of image, you see that the dimension of this image is 1920 by 1080 uh, pixels. So you are going to actually create this and please make sure that this is not up to either an MB or whatever. Make sure that uh, the size is always this small so that it won't actually um, be too heavy for your site. And you are going to use this dimension to create your own image and then just upload the image by coming here to upload file, select the image wherever you saved it on your system. And at the end of the day, um, select that image wherever it is and click on insert and that will be inserted. Now, if I want to edit this text, all I just need to do is to click on it. I can either click, highlight it and type in here or come in here to type, let me say my online store. So just go ahead and edit this text to fit in whatever you want. If you want here, you can just click here and edit. Now for the button, um, if you want to edit this button, all you just need to do is to click on it and then copy the button of the website shop to here because when somebody clicks on shop now, it automatically takes them to the shop page where they can start shopping on your site. And if you want, if you have a blog attached to your site, you are going to click here and then add the link of the blog here. So basically that is how you did this. And then if you have anything you want to show up here, images or logos of people you work with or the companies you work with, you want to display here, all you just need to do is just to click here. And as you can see, this is a gallery. If I click on edit here, it brings us to all of the different logos of these different companies. In your own case, it's going to be the logos of the clients you work with. So you are going to upload their logos in different version and then create a gallery and just edit this if you want to reorder you can just um, click and drag and drop and drag or if you want to add more image you just go ahead to say add to gallery and then you select the image you want to add and once you are satisfied you go ahead and add up that but if not i'll just cancel this that is how you edit this gallery any of these things now if i want to edit this image here yeah, i click on this icon here and then go to the style tab here and then change the image just as i showed you earlier so basically that is how you edit this you can just click on the text and change it um, click on this 
go to the style tab here and then change the image to whatever you want and then to change the links you just click on the button and input the link wherever you want this to direct people to on the on your site you just copy the link and then paste them here so if i go back to the back end of my site and open this site in a new tab and then this is my store so once i click on the store menu and i want people to be directed each time they click a button on my home page to this site i'll just go ahead and copy this link here and then come back to elemental for instance i want people when they say shop now to be directed to my store i'll just paste the link here and any of these things you want to edit any of the button just go to your store copy the appropriate link and then paste it here once you paste it, then, then this is where it's going to display your featured product, all of this. I'm going to show you how to add up this product and how to change this. So the featured product, this, you don't need to do anything. All you just need to do is to add up this short code here and this, which I'm going to show you how to actually get this, uh, this product displayed here. And then for this image as well as I showed you earlier, just click on edit, go to the style tab here and then edit this. You can edit this and edit this. All of these things just click and edit and that will be edited here is a footer i'm going to show you how to actually edit the footer here so i'm going to show you how to edit this separately and once you are finished you are done with editing your site the way you want it to look like all you just need to do is to click on update to for these changes to be effected on our site so it has been updated and i need to come back here and then exit to dashboard So if I come back to the site and click on the home page here, you'll see that the changes has been successfully effected on our site. And basically that is how you edit your home page. The same thing applies to any page you want to edit here. If it is the about page, if I click on the about page here, any page at all you want to edit on your site, all you just need to do is to click on it and then edit with Elementor and start changing the image whatever you want to edit here just go ahead edit with elemental and you start changing all of these different images so the next one now is to show you how to add product to your site so once i am at the back end of our site when this site was imported to our website uh, we have a lot of plugins that were in, in the actually installed and activated which is one the woocommerce which is the one that is responsible for all of our product which is the a platform we are going to actually use to accept payment in order to add a product to your site once you are at the back end of your site um, all you just need to do is to come here to products and click on it so here we we'll see the different kinds of product that are listed on our site these are the different types of product we have listed on on our site so if you want to add a new product you go ahead and click on add new here or add new product here so here is where you are going to type the name of the product so you type the name of the product here you are going to put in a description here and then you now put in the price here this is where you are going to put in the price of your product and if you have a regular price and then the sales price you are going to put those differences here and then um, in, the, in the case where it is a pdf file for instance if your e-commerce website is going to be about downloadable product you are going to indicate here and um, this will actually give you the option of selecting the file so that once somebody pays for this product it directs them directly to where to download the product for but in this case, we are selling physical um, goods. We are not downloading, selling any downloadable things. So you sell your price here and then add the description and you are going to add the image. To add an image to this product, we go ahead and select product image and then which product is this, um, whatever the product is, you just go ahead and select the product and let's assume this is the product we just listed here and go ahead and select product. So once we select this product, we equally have the option of creating a gallery, different pictures of um, this same product so that when somebody comes, they are seeing the front, they can see the side, they can see the back, they can see the inner. It all depends. So this is where you are going to select the product gallery. All you just need to do is click on it 
and that will open up so you select the different kinds of products here you want to be added to the gallery um just go ahead and select the product and add to gallery you can add more than one image here yeah? so just go ahead and select as many products as you want and those images will be added here alternatively you just come in here hold down your control key and select the products you want to add the numbers of images you want to add and click on add to gallery and you see that all of those images will be added to our gallery and once you finish this your description here your product prices here and then the featured image you want to use the gallery images um, once you are done with it all you are just going to do is to click um, scroll down here and click on publish to actually make this product live so that product has been added to our product and if i come here to all product you will see that the product we just added product name has been added here and if i come back here to the site and click on my store all right you see So one thing we didn't add here is we did not categorize that product so we did not categorize this product so it's very difficult for us to actually look for this product now in order to add a category as you can see it's uh, uncategorized to add a category to this i'm going to actually um, click on this quick edit once i click on the quick edit i'll come here and then select a category for it so i can say men this is for men or uh, this is for women so you can select more than one category whatever you want to select you select there and then click on update so if i come back to the store and refresh this store and then i go to the main category here and click on it was it men or women category okay we added that in women category I'll just go ahead and click on the women category um let's go ahead and look for that product that was just added so you can see that this is the product that we just added so um product name here so this is the product we just added that we added to this category so basically that is how you add product and if you want your product to be showed on the front page here on the home page here um, just like we have here all of this product you want this product to be showed on your home page all you just need to do is to go to the product page and select this this are your official product any product you select here will actually be displayed on the home page so if i say i want to add this new product i just added here i'll just go ahead and select this so once i select that if i come here and refresh my page you can see that the product i selected has been added here so that is basically how you add products to your product pages so all you just need to do is come here and then make this mark this as a featured image and that will automatically be added if i want to add any other image here to the featured page all i just need to do is to select so all of these ones that are selected are the ones that are displaying on the home page here so basically that is how you add product and that is how you make product displayed on your home page so the next thing i want to show you now is how to actually change this payment method how do we change this payment method to reflect with the payment method the currency we want to actually as, as, um, um, start selling with for instance i'm in nigeria and in order to change this to the naira icon all i need to do is go back to the back end of your website and click on woocommerce and then go to settings so once you're on the setting you're going to put in your address put in your city and every other thing you're going to set all of this up and then you are going to select the locations where you sell if you sell to all countries go ahead and select all countries if not um go ahead and select um whether you sell to all countries except whatever or you sell to specific countries you go ahead and select that then which country do you sell i'm going to actually input in nigeria here because it's nigeria we sell and then any other country that you sell to you go ahead and list all of the countries here and then um, shipping location to all countries you are going to select all of this um, if not just select the country where you ship to and then the currency is where this is our concern so we are going to actually search for the nigeria currency this applies to any other country where you find yourself and where do you want every other settings leave, leave every other setting the way it is and then click on save changes so if i come back to the site and go to store 
all right you will see that the currency of our product has been changed to naira so all of this has been changed to naira and this way if i want to buy any of this product now the next thing to activate is how to accept payment using um this platform so the next thing we need to do now is to go to payment once we come back to the dashboard on the WooCommerce settings here, we're going to payment. So presently now there is no payment method that is associated with um, our website or our e-commerce website. So we need to activate one. And before we can do this, we need to actually install the plugin where we want to collect payment with. You can accept payment through bank transfer through check payment or cash on delivery. Whatever feature you want to activate here, you can go ahead and activate that. But I am concerned with collecting payment online with credit card. So we are going to use a platform called Flutterway for Nigerians. Um, other countries can use PayPal um, and other payment method available to them. But here in Nigeria, we're going to actually use um, Flutterway. Flutterway allows you to receive payment globally. You can receive payment in dollar, you can receive payment in other currencies, and you can receive payment in Naira as well. But what we are concerned with is how to actually add up this payment method to um, start collecting payment with where people can pay online with their credit card and will get the money and send their product to them. So in order to do that, we need to go to plugins and add new. So to add a new payment gateway, once we are on the plugin page to add new, we are going to type in here RAF. So once you type in RAF, you have all of these different options here for you, but the ones we are going to install is this one that is compatible with our latest version by um, Tobusum Ayela. So all you need to do is to install this. Um, you can just in your order, so with this alone, we can save the purpose. We install this and then activate all right so that has been activated but before this can work you need to create an account with floater wave you need to have a business account with floater wave in order for you to accept payment i'm going to show you that in a moment so now that this plugin has been activated the next thing we need to do is to go back to woocommerce and then click on settings and then when i come back to the payment tab here you will now see that Drave by Flutter Wave is non-active. It wasn't here before. So this is the payment method we want to activate on our site. So we go ahead and click on um, activate. We to click on the button to actually put it on. And once we click on that, we will need to set up this in order to be able to collect payment. So we'll click on set up here. So here we'll be asked to actually we are enabled we, we are going to enable this definitely and then what do you want the title to be whether rave or whatever you want it to be you can go ahead and add up the title here and then the description make payment using your credit card and bank and the rest so you go ahead and do that if it is a test mode you are going to allow it to be a test mode but we are going to allow this to be live so that i'll show you how it works but in order to actually put in get all of this information as i told us earlier you need uh, an account with flutter wave so uh, there is a link below this video description where you can go or uh, sign up for free um, on the Flutter if you don't pay anything the only thing you pay uh, is per transaction and in most cases on the account setting you are going to set it whether you want your customers to pay for or all of the transaction fee or you want to be the one to pay so all of those one which charges you for per transaction and um, you just go ahead and input in the these details so in order to get a rave account click on the link below and that will take you to Reef. So once you click on the link uh, in the description below, it takes you to this site. All you just need to do is just to create an account. But because I have an account already, the processes are simply more uh, simple. So just go ahead and click on create account to create an account. But because I have an account already, all I need to do is to sign into my account and show you how to get the information to start collecting money from, to start accepting payment from your site. So once I log into my Flutter Wave account, I'll just scroll down here and click on settings. And once I'm on the setting tab, this is where we're going to get the information, um, the public key, the secret key that we're going to use to start accepting payment uh, from our site, uh, our, our, our e-commerce website. So as you can see, my site is already live. I'm already online. So whatever transaction I do on the site, I receive the payment via um, Flutter Wave. 
so this is where you are going to copy this so you are going to settings and once you are on setting tasks click on api so once you click on api you this is the information you need so i'm going to copy the public key here by clicking on copy the public key and then i'll come back to woocommerce and where it says um if if, we, if your site is still on the test mode you go ahead but we are, we are live so we are going to paste our live public key here so go ahead and uh, enable this if you are still on test mode but if you are live um like uh, my site is now my i'm actually live so whatever transaction i do i receive it so i'm going to paste the public key here and then the live secret key you are equally going to copy that and paste it here copy the live secret key come back to woocommerce and paste and then once you paste in this information these are the only two informations that you need you scroll down here and then if you want people to uh, to if you want people to actually make payment with their safe card you can go ahead and enable this and then click on save changes so now that our payment method has been integrated successfully integrated if i go back to the store here and go to the store page here and i click on any of these products So this is what is actually going to cost us so i can select the numbers of product i want to buy here and then click on add to card so that product has been added to our card as you can see here we can just click here and then click on checkout to check check out um or we'll just continue buying other product or continue adding other product we can add as many products and when we are done we just click on view card or assess it from here view card so i just click on view card here and then from here i see that the product will cost me 115 naira. if you have a coupon you offer a coupon they can always apply the coupon here and this is where i'll proceed to check out so on the checkout page here the person um, buying from you is going to add their information they are going to input in their information the address so that you'll be able when you are shipping your product you'll be able to get access to them so they are going to fill in all of these informations and when they fill in this information they will see the total cost of what they are going to pay for and they just click if they want to save the card they can go ahead and click on save card and then click on place order so let me just quickly fill in this information and let's see how that works so once i fill in this information correctly all i just need to do this is the total money we are going to pay if i want to save my card i'll click on save card but i just go ahead and place the order and we'll be redirected to where we are going to actually uh, check out and all you need to do now is this is the total amount you are going to pay you now click on pay now so basically this is where you you have the information they can pay with your credit card they can pay with their they can pay with ussd they can pay with bank um they can pay with bank transfer they can pay with all of these different options that you have here that is how simple floater will makes it easy for you to actually accept payment online the next thing we'll be looking at is how to customize this how to change your logo how to change these menus if you want to so all you just need to do once you're on the home page here just click on customize here all right so once the customizer opens up um from here we can actually start checking this so all i need to do if i want to edit this logo i'll just click on the pencil icon here and that will directly take us to where we can change this so here you have it you can just click here to remove or click to change and that will open up your media library so you just go ahead and change the logo to whatever you want to the, the logo to be and just select the logo and click on choose image and that will automatically insert that here you equally have the option of putting a um a bigger size of this logo here so you can go ahead and change that to to whatever you want it to be and for the menu for the menus here, if i want to edit the menu all i just need to do is to click on the pencil icon here and that will take us directly to where we can actually start editing um this menu to actually fit in here to wherever we want it to be and for the customizer basically what you need to do, use it to do is to actually change up your 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 logo this is where you can change the logo to whatever logo you want and the next thing i want to show you now is how to actually edit this menu from your dashboard 
so i'll just go ahead once you finish with your changes here whatever changes you are going to make here just click on publish here and at the end of the day you just close off this tab so to edit this menu i'm going to go to the dashboard by clicking on the site name here so here we are going to over over appearance we have appearance here and then click on menus so now that we're here we have different menu for different categories um, so in order to select these are the different menus that we have here and then we'll have the main menu which is the primary menu so if i click on this i click on select menu so this is where we have the home tab the the home menu the store the all of these different categories listed here so you have the option of adding your menu according to pages post or custom link custom link is when you want to direct people to a particular page um, that is not listed there all you just need to do is to copy the website address and then come in here paste in the website address here and title it whatever you want to title it and then you can link up pages according to categories as well so you can go ahead and can actually use the categories as you can see for the 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 one here is a category this man is a category woman is category accessories are categories all of these ones are categories but these other ones are majorly pages so this is how you actually add up the menu if you want to add any menu if i go to the pages here and then let's say i want to add up this sample page all i just need to do is select it and then click on add to menu and that will automatically add that to the page here so you can drag it and drop it wherever you want and at the end of the day you just click on save changes so if I open up this on the front end of the site, I will go to the front end here. We can see that the samples page we added has been added here. Now, if I want this to be a drop down to any of this menu here, um, let's assume that I want this sample page to be a drop down to this contact page. I'll just click and slide it um, directly to towards the right here under it. So this now will now appear under this instead of appearing on this one. So let me just click and save changes here. And let's see how that works. If I come back here and then refresh this page, you can now see that there is an arrow um, that is attached to this contact us here. So once you click on it, you see the drop down that I said another page attached to this. So that is how you set up your menu. You can add up the menu as I said earlier from pages, you can add it up from categories, all of the different categories you have here. Um, you can go ahead and select it and then add up that menu. Now to create a category for your page. All you just need to do, um, here we have categories for post. If you go to post here, you can create a category for post for all of your blog posts. You are going to create a category for that. But well, where I'm concerned, with, what I'm concerned with right now is a category for your pages, uh, for your product, sorry. So if I come down here to product, we equally have product categories. So if you click on the categories here, you have the option of categorizing your product according to what you sell. You can categorize for men, for women, and for children as well. So all you just need to do is click on product and then click on category. This is where you will see all of the categories that you have here. These are all the different categories you have. If you want to add a new category, um, just click here to add the name of the category. Add the name of the category now the slot name here is the same name that you added here but all has to be in small letter in most cases you just add the category and this will automatically be generated so as you can see this is the name of the category and then this is the slot and here is where you add the description about what this category is all about so you go ahead and add the category uh, the description here if you want to add an image you just go ahead and upload the image and at the end of the day you add a new category and that category will be added here so if you want to now show up this category you just added on the home page, you do that via um, the menu. And the last but not the least thing I'm going to show you here is how to customize your footer. If I scroll down to the end of the page here, you see this footer, all of these links you see here. This is built with Elemental, so I'm going to show you how to actually customize your footer. So in order to customize the footer, um, you just scroll down here and then come to appearance and click on header and footer builder so once this open up you can see the footer here so we can go ahead and edit this with elemental so just click on edit with elemental so 
so here you can just click here and you open up this you can now link up this to wherever you want it to be if i click on this if you don't want it to be the home you can say okay this will be your store um you go ahead and type in whatever you want here and then copy the link to this store let's assume that i want people to click on this instead of going to home i want it to take them to my store so if i come here now um, to the store i'll just click on the store and then copy the link from here and then come in here and paste the link here so once people click on this it takes them to my store the same thing applies to the about page the account page and the rest so they just click on it it takes them to the appropriate link the same thing applies for the header for these different categories you have here and then here if you have an app you go ahead and display that here but you can change this to wherever you want to um let's assume i want to add a different thing there um, maybe like a gallery so i'll just come here click on this icon here and then click on um, just type in whatever you want to add here basic gallery i'll just click this and then drop it here and here is where you are going to add the images that will be displaying here as your gallery so that is how you edit your footer and then you can edit this here and edit this here whatever you want you just edit it at the end of the day you click on save changes and when you come to the home page to refresh your page whatever changes you've done there will actually um, reflect it if i want to change the background of this footer here um, to a different background i can actually do that by just clicking on the dig section here and uh, once i click in the dig section here i'll go to the style tab here and then here i can add a, a background you can see that the background color here is white so if i want to change this to something like gray um slide if I change it to this and then just click on save changes here and come back to the home page to actually refresh this you see that the color has been applied so basically that is how you edit your your pages and that is how you build up your e-commerce website i hope this was helpful just um, leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to be the first to be notified each time i publish videos like this on my channel let's look at our progress so far we've been able to get a domain name for free and then we got a hosting we have installed wordpress we have installed team and then we have customized our site so basically that is how you set up an e-commerce website if there is anything that is missing use the comment section below if there's anything you are stuck with use the comment section below or you can contact me via my blog and i'll be ready to actually give you a helping hand so this is how you actually go on and set an e-commerce website wherever you are whether in nigeria or wherever you are in the world you set up an e-commerce website with wordpress and you can start selling and start receiving payment online please give it a thumbs up share this video with others on social media and if you are new here subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out each time i publish new articles on my channel so until we see you again take care